welcome to Sojourns. Let's journey into sewing. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the sewing room. My name is Chris, and this is Sojourns, where we journey into sewing. And today I just have a really fun project to share with you and to tell you about a big sale. So let me first say welcome back. If you've been here before and you're a subscriber, I always appreciate you. And welcome to any new viewers today. I love when you join me in the sewing. If you'd like to subscribe, just hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell and anytime I post new content, you won't miss it. You'll get a little notification. A link to all of the patterns from Green Style that I'm going to be showing you today are in the description box along with the code that you need in order to get the 30% off today and tomorrow. Even if you're seeing this video later, check out the green style patterns and maybe you wanna consider making a mini wardrobe yourself. Have you ever done a capsule wardrobe before? Or a mini capsule wardrobe? That may be a new term for you. It may be something you're, you've done before. Well, this year I participated in the mini capsule wardrobe contest that Green Style Patterns was having. I participated last year and I actually won a prize. This year I participated again and I wanted to take you through and show you what I ended up with because it's a really fun project. Before we get into that, the reason I'm sharing with you now is because Green Style is having a Memorial Day sale. Today, Sunday, the 30th, I think it is, <laughs> Sunday and Monday, today and tomorrow, Green Style is having a Memorial Day sale on all their patterns, 30% off. That's a big percentage. I'm going to show you a few different patterns that I used for my capsule wardrobe, and maybe you would like to sew some of those up for your summer wardrobe, since you're gonna be able to get them on sale today and tomorrow. A link to all of the patterns from Green Style that I'm going to be showing you today are in the description box, along with the code that you need in order to get the 30% off today and tomorrow. Even if you're seeing this video later, check out the Green Style patterns and maybe you wanna consider making a mini wardrobe yourself. So for a capsule wardrobe, generally what that means is that you use maybe three or four fabrics that coordinate. And from that, you sew different patterns that will also coordinate with each other. So that if you sew four or five or six patterns, you'll get a multitude of different looks, things that go with each other, which really expand your wardrobe. And that's what I did. So I'll put a picture up here of what I did last year. I'm not sure which side it'll be on. Of what I did last year, I did a fitness inspired mini capsule wardrobe and I love it. I did this rainbow ombre shell sort of fabric and I got so many pieces and I love it and I still wear it and it's fabulous. But this year I wanted to do a summer capsule wardrobe. I have three of the pieces here now, although I do have modeled shots and great photos of all the pieces. I am going on a vacation, so some of those pieces are packed for my vacation, but these are not, and I wanted to share all of them with you. So let me show you the three fabrics that I started out with. Actually, it ended up to be four. One I just used for a little bit of trim. I started out with this print, and this is rayon spandex fabric. And here I've used it here, but I've used it in many different things. So I started out with this print, and then I coordinated the print with this blue fabric, and this melon colored fabric. And I also did pull out white. I don't have a photo because it's just white, but white fabric for a little bit of trim. So I'm going to use these three fabrics and tie all of these pieces together. So let's start with the print. The first thing I did was sew up this summer Lily Racerback pattern by Green Style. Lily Racerback dress comes in many different lengths. I chose to do the knee length. It's a racer back style with a built-in shelf bra. Okay, anytime you're going to give me a summer blouse dress, especially with a built-in shelf bra, I am all about that. Especially for packing, for traveling, you just one piece and you're ready to go. I love it. 
I did the racer back in the knee length, super cute. From there, and I used the white trim around for the bands. From there, I decided maybe I would like a little shrug to have to cover my shoulders if I go into air conditioning or whatever. So I chose, and it's right here, the ultra crop top pattern by Green Style. All of these patterns are by Green Style. This is the ultra crop top. There are so many choices in this ultra crop top and I have sewn it up in so many of the ways. But for this one, I've chosen no hood. A hood is an option. I've chosen no zipper, front zipper, that's an option. So I've chosen the ultra crop top, which is just this little piece right here with the neckband, long sleeves with a cuff and the shoulder insert. So I've taken that same fabric from the dress and I've put it down the sleeve and the cuff. So now it really ties in with the dress and it looks so cute. All right, now you're seeing this ultra crop top on two other pieces. What I have underneath of here is the bally top. And this is really, really cute. It's like a crop top. Actually, there's a hip length, which this is. And the rally skirt. So you can see that this coordinates. That same blue that's in the print, that same melon, col melon color. I've also used the tie in the print. So I'm gonna take this off the mannequin now that you've seen what it looks like. I'll put it aside. So this is the ballet top and it's so super cute. As you can see, there's a channel down the front and you put a tie through and you can cinch it. So if you wanna make it really short crop top, if you wanna have just a little bit of this ruching, this actually sits at my high hip. And the tie can, it's an option, come around your neck. And I'll show you that on, really cute. But you don't have to, you can sew it right here, which I've done with another version that I made. You can sew it right here and it just ties here. So if you don't like it around your neck, you just pull it through, shorten it and tie it. Sle it's sleeveless, of course, for the summer. And then I've paired it with the rally skirt. I love this pattern. So let me pull this up a little and you can see, I'm just gonna pull this up here. This is the rally skirt. Actually, it's a skirt. There are shorts attached underneath with a pocket. ID, a key, your cell phone. It's fabulous if you're walking the dog, if you're going out, if you're playing sports, whatever. If you're traveling, you can put your um, passport in here, your ID, your phone, nobody's ever gonna see it. I've made the, the half circle skirt. You can choose a half circle skirt, three quarter circle skirt, or a full circle skirt. And you can choose, I believe it's three different lengths. So this is the longest, is this the longest length? Gee, I can't remember because I sewed this up months ago. I should have checked that. Uh, but this hits me just above the knee. Um, it's probably not quite the longest length. I probably cut in between that second and third length. That's what I did. What I love so much is the half circle skirt is just enough flow that it feels pretty, it flows pretty, but it's not really full. And because of this wide waistband, that fullness of the skirt doesn't start and flare out at your waist. It comes to your hip and then out. And I just love it. As with all green style waistbands, they design it so you can put clear elastic in here which gives a really secure fit to your waist. And this is a contoured waistband, meaning that it is smaller at the waist and then the hip line matches the hip line of the shorts underneath and the skirt. So, or you can choose a yoga band, uh, whatever fits your figure or your comfort level. Again, it has the shorts underneath with this pocket. I have used this pattern to make a swim skirt I've used the shorter version. You can have briefs underneath, or you can have a short 
a shorter rise shorts or longer. I've added bands to my shorts, which always give me that extra level of comfort because my shorts stay put. So as you can see, this is adorable. I also took just the shorts from the rally skirt and I made myself a pair of summer workout shorts. I pair in the melon color that we saw on the ultra crop top. I accented it with that print. So I have the shorts, which I'll show you. I, so what I paired with just the rally shorts is the Embrace sports bra. Really nice sports bra. And it has the option of a single layer back or a double layer back. And I took advantage of the double layer because I still had some of that print left. So I knew that I could use it on the side of the shorts and I could use it on the back of the sports bra. And see how I'm tying everything together? And now you can also see that the shorts will go with the ballet top, especially because I have this match here, but also the blue is in the print. The Embrace sports bra will go with the rally skirt or the shorts. So everything mixes and matches. The Embrace sports bra looks really cute with the rally skirt. And the ultra crop top goes with the Embrace top as well as the ballet. The ballet top goes also with this skirt or just the shorts. So everything is tying in here together. So out of three fabrics and one, two, three, four patterns, but then you have the separate skirt that's five patterns and the dress, six patterns, three fabrics, plus a little white for contrast. I have nine different outfits that really extend my summer wardrobe. And if I were packing for a weekend getaway, all I have to do is take these nine outfits with me. That's amazing. I've got a dress for dinner. I've got a skirt or skirt for during the day. I've got shorts and I can walk in those shorts. I can work out in those shorts. I've got a little crop top, a little coverall, a little shoulder shrug to wear if it gets chilly or to dress up any outfit where I don't want my arms showing. So this is really fun. I mean, Green Style has so many patterns and they're all on sale for 30% off. You could do your own wardrobe. You could do a fitness wardrobe like I did last year. You could do a wardrobe of all different skirts and longer tops, include pants in your mini wardrobe. If you've not tried a capsule wardrobe, look around at your fabrics, see what you have that might go together. You can do it with two fabrics, three fabrics, four fabrics. You can do it with just three patterns, four patterns, five patterns, it's up to you. I hope this has inspired you. I do love this wardrobe and I do love these patterns. I mean, if you're gonna get anything, I would say get the rally skirt. You get a skirt, you get a squirt. You can make it into swim bottoms using the briefs underneath, using the really short one. If you like a flowier skirt, you have those options as well. I love this ballet top. It comes in three different lengths. I, I love it all. I love the Lily Racerback. I mean, that is a dress that I'm just gonna take everywhere. I hope you enjoyed seeing my capsule. I am inspired by you, so please share. If you decide to do this, and please share with me what patterns you might get. As always, in the description box, I will have all of the pattern links. And join me again in the sewing room so very soon. Thank you, sewing friends. Bye for now.